we're very pleased to have Heather Bond. Heather is a clinical therapist. She's doing a, a process called Psych K, and I'm very excited to learn about that. Welcome, Heather. Thank you, Jeff. So tell me, what can you tell me about Psych K? <laughs> uh, so Psych K is a process that I was uh, trained in um, that's simple and easy, and it uses muscle testing to tap into what your beliefs are. So you are conscious beliefs, your subconscious beliefs. And the point of the whole thing is to get your subconscious to agree with your conscious mind. So the point of Psych K is to take uh, things like goal statements or things like emotions and transform them at a subconscious level without having to do years and years of cognitive behavioral therapy or other sort of techniques that take much longer and can be much more invasive. Psych K can do a, a wide range of things. It doesn't have to just be something that's emotional or spiritual. It can also be physical. Mm -hmm. It can be any of those things. So you could come in with um, a physical problem, something in your body that's not feeling not feeling right, um, and we could do a balance around that. It could be something um, something that you just like to improve upon. Also, sometimes when we do the muscle testing, when we muscle test a statement, it's something that you might think that you believe here actually turns out that you don't believe here. So sometimes people come in and they're surprised about what they think they believe, but it's not actually what they believe. So Psyche is, it, it's, it's all about you. It's all about your belief system. So it has nothing to do with um, kind of tr more traditional therapies um, where again, like you said, you would, might come in and somebody might say, oh, you're in this diagnostic criteria mm -hmm. box. No, I, I'm the epitome of a DSM for any of these type of issues. <laughs> right, and Psyche is not about that at all. Um, so I am a person who's practicing what I've learned about um, you know, my work, and I also am more of a person who's more intuitive and feels, and that is how sort of the clinical piece fits with the Psyche piece. Um, so people can come in my office and feel free to talk about whatever's going on and not feel like they're going to be hospitalized or be put into a DSM category. Right. And then we can work on whatever it is that's really their goal that fits into their belief system. Yeah, and that, that's something I've actually been looking for for a while because I believe that there's a lot of people who are like me that um, there's a term going around now called spiritual emergency that, you know, what their belief system in isn't really matching up what society says you have to fit in this box. Right. And so then they try to change themselves to fit in the box and that causes issues. Yes. And then when they go to uh, traditional routes of psychotherapy now, um, to me that's the same, that's what's happening in our school system. Instead of trying to figure out what's going on, it's like, okay, you're in this box, let's apply this drug, let's apply this therapy and, and make and to try to fix you. The psyche is more aligned with a personal. Absolutely, and it's more aligned with your beliefs. It's more aligned with, you know, we're sort of just the guides, you know. I actually practice that way from therapy as well, um, but, and that fits in with psyche, K, which is, I'm the tour guide, and your body does the rest. Mm -hmm. That really doesn't have much to do with me. So can you tell me a little more about what the muscle testing does? And yes. So the muscle test is the, the premise behind that based on kinesiology is that when you when you say something out loud, if your body is in agreement, if your body and your heart, your soul and your mind, your subconscious all believe that, that your muscle will stay strong. And um, if it's not, then it'll be weak. So even the strongest of person, if they have their arm up and they say something that doesn't really resonate with their subconscious, the muscle will be weak and you can push the arm down. So how did you, how did you get into this? What brought you from your therapy that you were doing to, to try this? Well, I just knew that at some point I was going to need to um, sort of merge my belief system and what I was thinking and feeling with my work. And I knew it was going to have to take on a more spiritual component. And so when I found out about Psych K and looked into it, I just, I felt like it was such a good match for me because you can really do all kinds of things with people. Um, even something like if somebody comes in with a diagnosis of PTSD or just severe anxiety or depression, um, there are things that you can do where you don't even have to talk about what's happened. You could just go to the feeling and you can balance the feeling. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't take, again, years and years of trying to slog through, you know, something somebody's been through and then having to talk about it over and over again. 
it's just quick and easy. Um, and after a couple of sessions, people usually feel much better and can and can actually um, in a in a situation like that, something like PTSD, they can live life in a way that they're not being triggered by things they used to be triggered by. What else you want to add about this? Um, just that it's it's a quick and easy process. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time to do. There's no special equipment that you need, and you can see results within five minutes. You know, so it's all it's just for it's really for anybody and everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff.